Hey folks, I'm back again with yet another custom lesson. This one has been requested by Benjamin Chen and this player, let's put it simply, wanted to see Switch Glade with Split Staff because he felt there'd be some synergy, which there is. And he wants to see all sorts of combos and there's a lightning thing going on. So let's just show you what I decided to go with. So starting with the Soul Cores, let's get right to it. Let me get rid of the controller. Um, I don't actually want to start with Nui. So first thing, lightning theme, blue dragon is really good for it because you have shock accumulation and you got melee damage against enemies that are electrified. Great! Also have some defensive things which can help, but I really was mostly attracted to the shock stuff. Now first soul core I picked is Nue. Backs this up if you can. Getting that extra shock accumulation does help and if you are fortunate on any one of your cores to get anima bonus electrified enemy, specifically on the phantom setup, that's great. Because you're gonna shock enemies, might as well get some value out of it. Uh, but I actually didn't need to rank it up, but it is pretty awesome to get that shock accumulation, specifically because as you electrify an enemy multiple times, it's gonna become harder and harder to reapply that ailment, specifically with yokai bosses when they refresh, uh, or sorry, spawn the dark realm and which they cleanse all their debuffs, which sucks. So having extra stock accumulation makes you not really feel that sting. And with Nue, it's pretty much supreme for applying shock. I mean, it just shocks everything in like a cone in front of you or like an arc. And so it can be really nice to have more shock accumulation. Next up, I wanted to take the slow factor even further. So I brought flying bolt and it's dumb. Why? Dumb in a good way, not in a bad way. Imagine this, you shock an enemy, and then you reduce their movement speed. It's as silly as it sounds. So it's a lot of fun, and I wanted a ranged core, and Flying Bolt's kind of perfect for this. Uh, you don't need to rank it up that high. If you want to have an increased chance of reducing someone's movement speed, I would advise it, but I didn't rank two, and it performed quite well. Um, all I cared about, really, was Yokai ability key pulse, and just the meme factor of slowing a target down, and then slowing it even further. And then my de facto quick cancel core lightning theme is Thunderstorm Oni B. It's just a fast, simple core, as you guys know. So yeah, got a lot of shock. I don't think you need to rank this one up, but there's a lot of power to it. But of course, there are some soul cores that I would be remiss to not use. So we'll get to that soon. But first, of course, Lightning Gods of Yomi is your gap closer. And it's electric, and it's great especially on Shinroku, because if you would electrify an enemy and then wail on them, you get a ton of anima back, and Yomi is superb at doing that. So you have a lot of lightning power, lightning damage here, a lot of movement, slow targets down, it's already crazy. And keep in mind, we've got Flying Bolt to slow their movement down even further. So yeah, they're slowed down, got a gap closer, we got a lot of, and I haven't even touched on the weapons, just the cores, and so it's already a good time. Um, Dweller I'll talk about in a second, but Tsuchigumo. Yeah. So imagine this. You slow a target down by electrifying them, then reduce their movement speed with Flying Bolt, and then you sloth them in an area, okay? It's pretty dumb. You don't need to rank this up. I don't think you do, personally. I happen to get enemy electrified. Again, this is if the stars align for your anima bonuses, but it's not necessary. And then you may be wondering, where does Dweller fit into play? Well, imagine all the things I described where you have lightning, reduced movement speed, and sloth on the target. What? Let's add insult into injury, keep them in place with Dweller. And what's nice about this is that you get an anima bonus on grapple. You don't need to rank this up. It only goes up to like 1.5 at rank 30. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. So let's just show you what it's like when the stars align. Uh, before I continue, you can take a look at my weapons. They're, they are corrupted base weapons, my standard ones. Here's my split staff, and here's my switch glaive, which does have you know the anima bonus grapple, but I can tell you I didn't really need it whatsoever. So feel free to get whatever weapons you want on here uh, in terms of elements. Uh, I don't think you need lightning because the soul cores and questions that I've chosen basically negate the need to really worry about lightning application anyway but you can. I would advise getting a secondary element because you don't necessarily want to rely entirely on one element, especially for certain bosses that are, say, lightning based. So just having a secondary option is great, but it doesn't really matter as much as you think, even if someone's resistant. So let's just get on to some of the stuff right away. Let me show you the stars align combination, okay? It is as dumb as you can think. So let's shock the target first. 
Okay, he's shocked. Let's slow him down. All right, he's already moving really slowly. And then let's sloth him. And then let's be done with Dweller. Oh, come on, Dweller, don't let me down. Let's slow you down again. Oh, really, dude? Making me look bad, dude. All right, then I'll sloth you. And now you can't move. How's that feel? Wait, hey. <laughs> Look how slow he's moving. <laughs> oh my god. And then, yeah, you can trap him with Dweller. So it is, again, one of those, like, if it works, it's hilarious. But don't necessarily count on it. But you can maybe do, like, two of the things at once. Look at this. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty funny. And let me showcase it on a Yoki. And then I'll get into some fancy Yokai Chef stuff, all right? All right, slow down, slow down twice, slow down again. Hey man, how's it going? Didn't keep the movement speed slow on you. All right, let's see that movement. Oh, I have all the time in the world. Oh, he even falls down slowly. Isn't that sad? All right, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> Just lightning and sloth alone is is dumb, okay? Oh, that's a cute dodge. Come on, come on. No. <laughs> yeah, it's it's alright, you get the point though. It is absolutely stupid. You can mix things up in there by putting caltrops or other jutsus, you name it, and yeah, targets are perpetually just, they're basically stun locked, they can't move. But enough about that, let's just show you some yokai shift combos so that you can use that as a very awesome tool in your pretty crazy toolkit. Alright, now let's pop yokai shift. So Shinroku's guardian spirit effect makes you unflinching. Oh dear lord, I didn't even get to do anything crazy. But yeah, you can pop the spirit and then Suchigumo right away. So you've got two sources of lightning. Push a target away and use Yomi. Use Dweller and then do a bunch of normal attacks alongside it. That would be my recommendation. And because you have the unflinching going on, you don't really have to worry too much. But that's how I like to pair it, because then it feels extra spicy. Alright, so one more time. Jinroku, Tsuchigumo. In charge if they back away. And then Yomi to catch up with them. Mix in Dweller with a bunch of your regular attacks. And it feels really, really good. Now what about Blue Dragon? Alright, Blue Dragon's up. So how is this gonna work? So Blue Dragon's Garden Spirit attack is basically a counterattack of sorts. So watch what happens when he hits me. Please hit me. And there you go, Blue Dragon takes effect and it's quite powerful. So my advice, when you use it, since it's a defensive tool, focus on being speedy and keeping some range. All right? So when you pop it, I would use Oni B. Back at range. You can charge in, go to town. Uh, Nui is a little, the placement of Nui can be a little tricky. So be sure to pay attention to that. You can maybe perhaps teleport in a new way if you'd like. But yeah, this one will feel a little tricky. Let me show it one last time against the Yoki. Just my own personal recommended use of things to play with. Whee! I honestly like using Oni B to not only f potentially prolong lightning, but if you notice the animation for Oni B, it's kind of unique. You kick, you kick the skull towards an enemy and do an extra attack. I find it's pretty helpful because creating distance with Phantom can be a very valuable thing. And then of course you can choose to go in. But yeah, those are my recommended Yokai Shift things. But enough about that. Let's just showcase how to work with these weapons together independently of Soul Cores. And I'll try the best of my ability to do just that. So you have, of course, a lot of switch stance options. 
but my advice would be to switch pretty frequently between your weapons and use things like sheet swaps to go in between split staff and switch glaive. So you do have a lot of pressure options. Woo! So Shin Crusher can be really good for doing key damage. And Split Staff is pretty good for that, whereas Switch Glaive is pretty good for blocking opponents. In comparison. Alright, let's see what else I can do. I like doing the low stance Switch, uh, switch Glaive stuff. And switching right into a Split Staff. Man, I'm going to misremember these names. But I like doing low stance this Blade Attack. And then going into Split Staff Flash Attack. Quick thin airs always feel pretty nice. And so it can be quite remarkable when you mix them together. Let's see some unique things perhaps I can play around with that can be pretty fun. So there are some range capabilities with Switch Glaive and Split Staff. Like so. There we go. Very nice. So that's just like some examples right there. Let's see what else I can come up with on the fly. Oh, that didn't work out well. All right, let's try this. Yeah, that didn't work. See, I'm trying not to use soul cores, but I totally would in situations like that. Oh boy. All right, let's see, roar power. Into thin air is always nice. Alright, what should we got? Oh god! This is a lot trickier than I imagined without soul cores. Here we go! Here's another thing! But yeah, I'll switch between these weapons quite a lot, so that's pretty much what I can say about those two weapons without soul cores, but with soul cores, I'm sure you can, you can imagine is going to be dumb. So I'll just show you some things. Alright, Ark of Chaos, let's go, Thin Air, boosh, 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 here we go. Nice movement speed, dude. How's it going, man? You're dead. That's how it's going. Alright, let's try some other things. And see, that's like with very little added into the play. Alright, another example. Alright, what do we got? Ah, oh, dang it, I actually got hit. Man, I officially suck, don't I? Oh yeah, it's pretty crazy. Try some other things. All right, what else we got? What you got? Nice, I completely whiffed. So maybe what I should have done is the following. Let's do sloth, dude. How about no? How about no? Okay. <laughs> I get a little cocky with this, I have to admit. But you have a lot more freedom to mess around as you need to when a target is ultimately sloughed. Go, 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 go. Ah, I wasn't fast enough. Try maybe. <laughs> I gotta do a better rendition. I'm not used to enemies being slowed. If I'm to be completely honest. Yeah. 
Maybe I use it a little much. Maybe. Maybe I do. Don't judge. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot you can do. And targets really will have a lot of difficulty engaging with you. That's really the premise I'm talking about. When it comes to, say, switching weapon-based combos, I ultimately do rely upon cheat swaps from Split Staff to Switch Glaive. But the other way around, Switch Glaive to Split Staff, I'll use my Soul Cores instead. Just as such. Because then it's pretty fast. And the target's dead. But yeah, try that out on for size. It's pretty hilarious when you can make this all work. And I guess, honestly, as opposed to me telling you how awesome this stuff is, I'll just have to show you. In any case, I'll see you guys in the gameplay showcase. All right, let's put this into actual practice. So I picked enemies this time around that have a tendency to be very evasive or just move around really quickly. And Nenra is one of the most irritating enemies for that reason. He has a tendency to backdash, dodge away. Um, unfortunately, I don't think Flying Bolt's reduced movement debuff actually works against him at all, which sucks. However, Lightning will. So that is something at least I can rely upon. And so, yeah. Otherwise, he's this version is a fairly weak one. It's not even a red one, so it's just going to die pretty quickly to things like confusion and so on and so forth. But all right. I'm charging up. Good old, what is that? Focus Retribution. Sloughed him, so he's going to move even more slowly, which makes a noticeable difference in the Dark Realm because he's pretty fast. So you can see I'm moving around. Um, looks like Tsuchigomo's effect has expired. You can see that Flying Bolt didn't really work, and I kind of got lucky with the Burst Counter. But Lightning does, and that is what I'm going to be leaning on. And what's nice about Tsuchigumo's sloth effect is there are no diminishing returns. If a target can get slothed and they're in there, they will get slothed, which makes it super nice. So you don't have to worry about diminishing returns on that sloth, which is really good. But you can see I'm struggling a little bit with my lightning application and even some of the placement with some of my skills. So I realize I need to get my stuff in gear. I um, knew I didn't work as well as I had hoped, but oh well so again that's just like one of the weaknesses with the setup is that when enemies are resistant to an element it can be very troublesome to work around it so again don't lean too hard on it but the abilities on their own irrespective of their lightning application aside from maybe like Nue, um, are still pretty good and yeah this target's pretty much dead and i think i'm going for a focus retribution yeah it's dead but that's not the main enemy and then it's most likely not going to give you trouble but a purple kasha might so this is where things actually are able to really shine. So right now I'm just making sure I can get into a rhythm and stay on top of Kasha, pun kind of intended, I don't know. But there we go, got a counter. Now she's been electrified, so she's a lot slower and she just won't be able to escape. I'm trying to set her up for a grapple. I know I've got confusion, I've got sloth applied, but I don't believe gonna work. Now here again she cleanses the debuff so she isn't sloth even though you see those sloth things on her wheels it's kind of weird. It's just how the whole like dark realm transition works. But what's nice is reduced movement does work and lightning on top of that. Oh and yokai shift with the confusion I do a good chunk of damage. So I evade, use blue dragon and then new to re-inflict lightning. I actually mess up this burst attack because she's so slow it throws me off and so it's just it's again one of the I guess double-edged swords when it comes to lightning is that sometimes your sense of timing can be off because they're that much slower. I am right now trying to imply the reduced movement, which I'm not able to, so I'm like, you know what, I'll just have to depend on something else. That time I do get the burst counter, and so now I'm just like, all right, I don't think I'm gonna be able to clear her key in time, and I need to reposition myself so I can get back to work. So now I'm like, all right, well, I'm, it doesn't seem like my stuff is working, so terms of lightning so I just got to stick the Kasha sides and I'll be overall in good shape. Things like Arc of Chaos to help me control distance do help but you're actually gonna be surprised lightning does get applied once again which is great I mean and Sloth look how slow she's moving in comparison to before it makes a big difference so I was actually very surprised to see how often I could apply lightning Lightning again with Lightning Godzilla Yomi. So, an otherwise really speedy enemy 
is now not as much of a threat simply because I'm slowing her down, which makes it so much easier to work with. Of course, even despite that, if you just stay to her sides and break the Amrita on her wheels, you can temporarily stun her, which can be really great. And so, back to the general game plan, which is, I want to try to slow her down, and again, I can! Look at that, I could with Tsuchigumo with Sloth, so I'm not like, too sad if I can't apply lightning, because I always have that Tsuchigumo to help me work with things. Um, and look, no way it still works! That shock accumulation is really valuable, and how many times have I applied lightning to her? Like, a few times already? So I'm not really that worried. And what's nice about Tsuchigumo, aside from the slot, ooh, very nice, is that there is a bit of key damage and stun that it applies, so it's extra nice. So yeah, and then of course, if I need non-elemental based pressure, or if an enemy's resistant, I do have things like Dweller. And so it can be quite remarkable. Look at that, Tsuchigumo into Brute Shift. Oh boy. I think I try to go for a Fang Break. I always seem to mess it up, but oh well. Look at that, Tsuchigumo again. Slow the target down, get that lightning back on. Oh my god, this... I don't think Kacha really stands a chance. I mean, she doesn't. Look, I haven't had too much trouble. She's constantly getting shocked. Slowed down once again. I decided to switch forms because I didn't really get to play around with Blue Dragon, but my goodness, is this devastating. Look at that lightning upkeep. And so I decided to use some Jutsu. It looks like Blue Dragon and some Fire clinched for me. I did an extra move unintentionally, but yeah, that worked really, really well, even if there were diminishing returns. In any case, thank you guys for watching. Uh, yay, Mujina Dance, didn't mean to do that. And I will, of course, see everybody next time. Take care and peace.